Hiya. Hi. Do you like Reading? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Favourite player? Gaffer. How are you doing? Good. You alright? Do you want me to wear my hat? Take it off. Do you want me to? No. Yeah. Jack, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah. yeah. Come here, Jack. Good. Good. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Good. Right, steady. Steady with these questions. You visited Ali Al Habdi in, out in Oman last summer, didn't you? How was that trip and where would you like to go next summer? Is Antsy going to show you around Finland? <laughs> you know, we've talked about that actually. We've talked about that with Anzi here, going to Helsinki. Um, there was a documentary on Helsinki not long ago. There was a. Um, I'm trying to think who it was. There was two comedians went. Um, it was Rob Royd, I think, went or something. But uh, yeah, that looked. That looked uh, Interesting to go to, so yeah, I think I think I've got to give Finland a, a visit, and I've, I'd probably go back to Oman because it was a beautiful country, and um, yeah. but it was just uh, too hot for me. You know, I mean, my skin and stuff, with my colour of hair, I, I got I got sunburned on the last day. I'm sore. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Who of your teammates would be most likely to win Big Brother, X Factor, and Mastership? Big brother, I think myself, because I watch it quite a bit, and I definitely go with a good game plan. Um, what was it one? X Factor. I'm asking. X Factor. What I've heard potentially would be Callum Harriet. He's got a decent voice, probably the best that I've heard here. And Master Chef. <coughs> He's just had, he's just coughed in the background, so it's probably Chris Gunter. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be one of your current teammates for a day, who would it be and why? Oh. Just trying to think. We are pretty boring. Um, for a day, yeah. I'm not sure about a day. Quite quite enjoy being me, but. <laughs> Um, if it was a match day on a game, then probably, well this season, probably Swifty, just because he, he's obviously scored a couple of goals and I never really get to experience what that feels like, so I would probably enjoy taking a free kick and scoring from it, so for that I'd probably say Swifty because I'll never, never be doing that. You have won so many trophies, but what other major sporting event would you love to compete in? Um, I like most of the sports. Um, I like to play tennis as well. You know, I'm, uh, I'm, if I might say so, quite good in playing tennis. Uh, I'm always competitive, so every sport that I'm uh, practicing at the time, I always want to win. You know, so it's, uh, it's, it's, I think, very good to play sports, and it doesn't matter which sport it is. You know, but yeah, every time, if I'm like, uh, even with my kids, if I play a game, or if you like play a game of football or tennis, or even a board game or whatever, like chess or something like that, I always want to win. You can run fast. Who would win a 100 metre race in the Reading squad? I'll win that. Um, it would be out me and G. Or Jordan, possibly. Have you ever run a 100 metre race? What time do you think you could do and is there anyone who could beat you? Um, the last time I ran it was probably six or seven years ago. I ran it in about 11 5. Um, that was in shorts and trainers. Uh, anyone that could potentially beat me. There's a few quick guys to be fair um, Tanae Watson, Don Samuel, Callum Harriet, Yaku, Guns. But I would probably beat them all. Okay. But we'll have a race at some point. Yeah, check. True. You are one of the longest serving players at the club now. Plenty of players have come and gone in that time. But which of your ex teammates do you miss the most? Who do I miss the most? Um, there's a few for different reasons. I miss <coughs> last season Andrew Taylor was on loan, the left back. Miss Tails used to go play snooker together quite a lot. Um, we lived around the corner. Um, 
Alex McCarthy I used to play snooker with. Um, no, there's a few, and we always try and keep in touch. It is hard. Obviously, everyone moves on and stuff. Um, luckily, G, I haven't left yet, or G hasn't left because we live next door. So I think that would be the one. If one of us was to leave, then that would be be a problem because we share a car most days in the training. So as long as he stays, I'll be alright. I think.